getting this changed. I, I... Oh, it's me. Mm. Right. Joining me now, Chair of the Old Party Parliamentary Group on Smoking and Health, Stephen Williams, and Director of Small Business Selling Electronic Cigarettes, Amish Badiani. Yeah. Welcome to the room. Amish, well, why do people smoke these cigarettes? Well, I think it's a massive development in technology. Um, and people, there's a lot of stigma associated with smoking traditional tobacco cigarettes, and it causes 5 million deaths a year worldwide. So there's a lot of people who try the traditional um, chewing tobacco, mm. or, you know, chewing gums, medicinal spray, sprays and things like that, and they just don't find that it does a trick. So electronic cigarettes bring a different type of uh, cessation to, to smoking. And can, can, can I just clarify in, in my own mind, do people smoke these cigarettes to get off smoking the uh, traditional cigarettes or as an alternative to the traditional? Well, yeah, there's, I mean, there's two sides to this, this coin, and we tout our cigarettes as an alternative to smoking. We don't, ah. we don't say that this will help you quit smoking because we don't believe that it will. And we think that it's an alternative to smoking. To it. And, if it does, and, if it does, and in to... your view, are there health consequences from this? I don't believe so. They've been none proven. What's your view? I think potentially that they're, they're, they're a good thing if they do help people wean themselves off the, the real thing that is really quite damaging. We know that tobacco, if it's consumed in the way the manufacturer intended, is the only consumer project that will shorten your lifespan, which is so it's quite extraordinary. So anything that helps people quit, I think, mm. uh, should be. Welcome. He's selling them as an alternative, yeah, not and, as a and, quit. And that's, that's sort of where I start to get worried, because the tobacco companies are busily buying up all the manufacturers of, of these products, and they're only doing that because they think it's in their interests. And I suspect what they want to do is to renormalise the appearance of smoking. Uh, for instance, my local station, Bristol Temple Meads, last week mm. when I got home uh, from Westminster, I saw a big advert of, of someone... And it superficially, it looked as like though they were smoking. Because in fact, it was an electronic cigarette. Now, we have a ban on advertising of tobacco. But at the moment, there's no controls over the advertising of these products. So that's what I'm concerned about. You can smoke them indoors, it's legal. Correct. Yeah, that's well. yeah. yeah. We can. So uh, there's they're, no they're damage odorless. from the smoke to passive smokers? No, none proven so far. Would you object to them being reclassified as a medicinal product? Yes, we would. Because as we just we mentioned, our products are an alternative to smoking, um, largely regarded as safer. But we don't believe that, we don't make any claims um, that these products will help you quit smoking. Uh, yeah. And the majority of our customers at the moment are, don't feel that way. They Do you can... think there are any health dangers to these cigarettes? Well, that, that, that's where they need to be looked at. And our, our own NICE, you know, that uh, look, looks at all, yeah. all medicines, has been having a review of all nicotine replacement products, which is how essentially uh, these products started, to see whether, for instance, they could be prescribed by, by GPs. I mean, people have nicotine patches and all the other things that ex-smokers will, will be familiar with. Or do you, these, the, these you would only really get them helpful. by prescription? Sorry? You would only get them by prescription? I'm not sure you, I, I would go that far, but there does definitely need to be more regulation about them. These are something that I think none of us had really heard of just, just two, two years ago. Mm. So it's a completely new thing. Um, I certainly think the advertising needs to be regulated mm. so the cigarette companies can't circumvent the laws that we've carefully put in place over the last 20 years. I wouldn't want them, uh, them to sort of get a backdoor way of normalizing, renormalizing the appearance of smoking, or, for mm. instance, targeting their children. At the moment, these products can be advertised in, in young people's magazines where okay. cigarettes can't. Fancy an e-cigarette, Margaret? Uh, no. And the reason <laughs> I say that is that I was... Just as well, I, because I haven't got one. I, I, was, I was a cigarette smoker. <laughs> I was a cigarette smoker. I mean, I gave up, oh, God, over 30 years ago. Wow. Uh, and I still think of myself as an addict. And I, my, my worry would be just that, that, you know, you've got the feel mm. of having some sort of cigarette would uh, entice me back to... It can be confusing for people to... I've seen people in a restaurant go and yeah. complain because they think somebody's smoking yeah. and it turns out it's one of these yeah. vaping and Why are you things? worried that it should be classified as a medicine? Well, why, what's the worry? We just that think seems to me sensible. For us uh, in particular, and, and small manufacturers and brands such as ourselves, we think that over-regulation would, would make it difficult for us to actually obtain a license and it would essentially price us out of the market. Mm. The other side of things is that the price of electronic cigarettes, getting the license, would be passed on to the consumers, therefore making them more expensive. Currently, they're about 
approximately 75% cheaper than traditional tobacco cigarettes. Oh, they are? That makes cheaper. them more attractive, yeah. right. I suppose, yes. Okay, and you smoke them? Yes. Okay, yes, I do. and you're feeling all right? Absolutely fine. <laughs> you look all right. There we go. Have you tried it? I, I haven't. I, I have seen other MPs uh, on the oh, terrace, okay. and some friends ah, of mine right. who've, who've okay. gone on to smoking these things, and you know, that's good. I'd rather they did that okay. than smoke the real thing. I'm not trying it. Are you trying it? I don't think we'll have them in the studio. No, I'm not <laughs> trying it. Anyway, gentlemen, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.